out of a book is one thing, but getting a hands-on lesson is a whole other experience. Mm -hmm. Students at Two Harbors High School can show you best, and it's all thanks to something very dear to Northlander's heart. CBS 3's Gamiel Hall has the story. For families across the Northland, it's tradition. It's like really about spending time with your family. It's great to get kids outside. The sport of deer hunting currently in the midst of its fall season. I think it's like really a progression as they get older, it's something they still come back to. I have a lot of friends from college who still go home every fall to hunt with their families. A process passed down from generation to generation in more ways than one. And that hunting process is making its way to the heart of the classroom here at Two Harbors. My dad's best friend shot a huge buck and he got the heart and then he gave it to me because he knew that we were doing this. The process ends here. Like the whole town kind of knows about it. In Miss Sharer's science class where deer hearts are donated. It's family members that shoot them, teachers bring them in. For students to dissect and learn. It's a really good way for the kids to see the flow of the blood through our heart, um, what the different ventricles and atrium look like. No, arteries on top. Things that are difficult to depict the right way on a diagram, but when you look at it in real life, is very clear. Some students take it better than others. I go hunting, so I'm used to it, but some people are kind of grossed out. Do I can feel it. You just kind of got to go with the madness. Um, so there's method to the madness, but it's chaotic. But they're always eager for more. <laughs> Whatever we don't use this year, we will like set aside for next year because they stay really well um, frozen, so we can keep them for a really long time.